Hi, I'm Anthony. And I'm Leanne. I want to welcome you to The, the Ring, Ring of, of Faith, Faith, where we coach you through God's Word on how to be a knockout artist in life. Today we're going to be talking about how you can be an overcomer. And today we have our very first guest on The Ring of Faith. She's a mighty woman of God with an inspiring testimony. You know, the Bible says in 1 John 5, 4, this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. FreeDictionary.com defines overcome as to get the better of, to prevail over. And our next guest, she not only went through a challenge, she overcame. Stick around and you can overcome. I will lift my hands, I will take a stand, I will shout your fame, I will praise your name. Welcome back to the Ring of Faith. Today we have a special guest on the show and with God's help, turn tragedy into triumph. I want to introduce to y'all, Renee Holloway. Yay! I'm so good glad to, to be have here. you on the show. I'm so excited. It's good to I'm be I'm really here. excited because I want our viewers to hear your story. And I know that God has blessed you in so many ways, yes. but it didn't start out that way. I know you had a challenging childhood. Mm -hmm. so. Take us back and tell us what it was like growing up in your household. Okay, it was very difficult growing up in my household. Mm. Um, I grew up in extreme poverty. Um, I was uh, sexually abused by mm. five different men, wow. including my father. Wow. Um, I, was, I was labeled as having uh, a learning disability. And I ended up in a mental institution. Wow. Oh. And that was just one sentence. That yeah. You, I mean, that, all Absolutely. that happened, but that was over a span of over several span years. Of time. And so this was kind of a, a lifestyle for you. This mm -hmm. is what you were going through during Absolutely. that time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, some, some people might blame God during this. Mm -hmm. So do you think, you know, that it was God or what was, what was going through your mind during all this? Not at all. Yeah. Not for one moment I thought it was God. Mm -hmm. um, there's one thing I know, and that is God never needs to use the devil's resources oh, to good. prove a point. That's good. that's good, yeah. It's just like whenever we have kids, when we try to teach them something, mm -hmm. we don't do something bad to them mm -hmm. to teach them a lesson. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I never once blamed God right. for yeah. that. You know, I blamed it on, of course, the devil, mm -hmm. and then the people who were submitting themselves to the devil. Right. Yeah, that's good. But right. it's not God at all. Amen. That's no. so good. You know, so you talked about being in such extreme poverty. Mm -hmm. Give us some examples. What were some of the things mm -hmm. you had to deal with on an everyday basis? Mm -hmm. Okay, on a daily basis. Um, many times I would have to um, go to school with stains mm -hmm. in my clothes Many times there was no running water mm -hmm. in the house. Uh, mm -hmm. Therefore, I smelled, didn't mm -hmm. smell very well at all. Um, and I was teased a lot. Uh, and, and I will go as far to say um, many times, you know, as Leanne, as, as we are women mm -hmm. and we have to go through certain things mm -hmm. a month, mm -hmm. well, I didn't even have the resources. I did not have uh, the finances mm -hmm. to even take care of the hygiene part of that. Mm. So, yeah. Did, did, was there anybody that you could confide in during this time that you were walking through this? Do you have any friends or anybody? No. Uh, nobody. Nobody knew. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew. That must be challenging. I mean, because kids, kids will tease kids as it is. Mm -hmm. But then for you to be in the situation you were in, mm -hmm. In such extreme poverty it must have just been that much more of an impact on you very much so and when you're talking about kids 
I would, I would be so ashamed mm. um, as to the house I grew up in. My house looked like a shack. Mm. And I was so embarrassed and so ashamed of that, where when the school bus let me off, I would turn and walk the opposite way because I didn't want my so-called friends mm. to see the kind of house that I lived in. Mm. And the house that I lived in, pretty much the ceiling caved in, there was water from the rain coming into the house. There were uh, bugs in our home, and there would be bugs crawling on the ceiling and crawling on the walls, and many times the bugs would crawl on me, and I would have to get up in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. and I'd shove the bugs off. Mm -hmm. And not only did we have bugs, but we also had snakes uh, that would come into our okay. house through a broken window. Wow. Wow, that awesome. just mm -hmm. must have just been such a challenging time to be so young and having to deal with all of these adult problems. Very, very, very challenging for me. So what was it that you did during this time to help you get through? What was it that helped you to walk through this situation and be able to get through it? Mm -hmm. You know, Anthony and Leanne, I had a back porch. Mm -hmm. And on that back porch, I would take a chair that my mother had. Mm -hmm. And every day I would go out and I would get my mother's hymn book mm. and I would sing those songs on that back porch. And as I was out there and I would sing, it seemed as if everything else disappeared. Mm. Praise God. It's just like that song, In the Presence of Jehovah, mm. where when you're in the presence of the Lord, your troubles vanish. Mm. Right. And the troubles for me vanished as I sang. Mm -hmm. And I remember there was one day I really was so tired mm -hmm. and I wanted to end it all. Mm -hmm. And I had the bottle of pills. Oh, wow. And I wanted to commit suicide because it was so overwhelming for me. Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. And I felt like I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so then I wanted to take matters in my own hand and I just wanted to say, okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live anymore. But I went back out there to that back porch and I flipped through the pages and I saw a song there. Mm -hmm. And the song, it went a little like this. It said, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, then life is worth the living just because he lives that is, that is amen awesome. and Praise because God. he lives wow. because awesome. i knew he lives amen that i could face tomorrow Praise God. and all fear was gone That's wow so good. because if but for no other reason because I know I wanted to commit suicide. Yeah. But because Jesus lives, mm. then I could face tomorrow. And because of that, and because I found that song, I'm here today wow. telling what he did for me. Praise that is so God. good. One song. One nice. song. One touch from God. One touch. One word from God. Yes. Changed your whole life. Yes, it in did. That moment. Yes, it did. Because it could have gone the other way. Absolutely. Imagine could. what God can do in anyone's life mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. they just give their life to Him. Absolutely. I mean, that one truth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. made you free. Absolutely. Praise God. Absolutely. Awesome, Renee. I mean, just hearing your story, I mean, it's just humbling to hear, and it's just so inspiring mm -hmm. to hear all the things that you've gone through. I mean, you must have felt like you missed out on being a kid in some ways. Mm -hmm. I most certainly did mm -hmm. miss out on being a kid. I There would be many times I would watch my mother 
um, look out the window. And as she looked out the window, she cried. Mm -hmm. Why? Because she had, there was no, nothing in the house to eat. Mm -hmm. um, I missed out on a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. as a child. I would watch my friends, you know, they would go on vacation or they would go swimming or they would go to the park. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an opportunity mm -hmm. to do that wow. because we had no money to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Wow. We take so many things for granted. Oh, yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, it's just amazing. Well, stay tuned. You definitely don't want to miss the rest of this amazing story. We'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Thank you for watching The Ring of Faith. If you've been blessed by this ministry and would like to help fulfill our vision to see others become a champion in life, become a sparring partner today by giving a reoccurring gift to Ring of Faith Ministries. Go to ringoffaithtv.com and click on the Donate tab to find information on how you can sow your financial seed. Welcome back to The Ring of Faith. Today we're talking with Superwoman Renee Holloway. She didn't have the best start in life, but I know she's determined to finish strong. It's good, you know, and Tim, Tim's story is a, a preacher that Renee knows, and he's a yeah. guy I listen to a lot, and he has a great quote, and I want to quote it from me. He says, God gives you the sight, the right, and the might to do great things, but you have to develop the fight. So Renee, I want to ask you, when and how did you turn this all around? You know what, I went to college. There was um, a church uh, that sent me to college. Um, uh, they, they did, and I, I just told the Lord that I desired to go to college, but I didn't have money to do so. And um, when I went to church, um, there was a pastor there, and it was a brand new pastor there, and uh, he had an usher come over to me and handed me a college application. And he and the, the usher said, Renee, the pastor wants you to fill this out. And, and I did. And as the pastor got up to encourage the people, he said that he came in and he said, good morning, congregation. Mm -hmm. There is, the Lord has given me a vision. And the vision is about a young lady who desires to go to college, Thanks, God. but cannot afford it. And he said, he pointed to me, mm -hmm. you know, and asked me to stand, you know, and I kind of turn around and look mm -hmm. to see who he was talking to, yeah, yeah. you know, but it turned out it was me and he let me know that the Lord had given him the vision wow. about me. So to make a long story short, I ended up going to college. That church paid for my first year and of course after, after that I got scholarship. But when I got to college, that's when my life turned around. Yeah, yeah. And I started hearing about the Word. Amen. I started hearing about the authority that God had given to me. Mm -hmm. I started learning and understanding what I did not have to take. Amen. Yeah. And once I got a hold of that, wow. once I got, I got into the Word of God, I started to believe it. I read it, I read it, I studied it, I studied it, mm -hmm. and then I got around other people who were on fire for the Lord as well. Yeah. Important. Yeah. And yes, I got and I got that in inside of me so strong. Mm. And then the more I learned about the Word of God, mm -hmm. the more my life started to change. That's awesome. Wow. So important who you hang around. That's such a Absolutely. great point. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, That's right. you know, when you began to change, mm -hmm. was it something that sort of happened overnight or was it a process? Absolutely a process. <laughs> we yeah. all want the overnight. Absolutely. Right. We do want the overnight. Right. Amen. We right. want the hour overnight, like popcorn, you know, yeah. just yeah. pop, pop, pop. Yeah, yeah. But we have to always remember we've got to be patient in the process. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it was a process. For me, being delivered from all of the things that I had gone through it was a process, and it was a process of continuing to delve into the Word of God. You know, I had to do with a Romans 12 too. Mm -hmm. I had to renew my mind. So good. And as I was renewing my mind with the Word of God, that had to be consistent, and I had to be very deliberate about that because I saw where I was, but then I also saw through the Word of God where I could go and where what I could be. So good. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Psalm 119 30 says, The entrance of the word brings light. Mm -hmm. You had all this oh, yes. darkness in your soul. Yes. So as you started renewing your mind to that light, mm -hmm. it started removing all the darkness, all the hurts, and yeah. all the wounds that you had taken over your life. Yeah. It started making you whole. Yes. So yes. now, can you share with the, with the viewers, you know, how has your life changed now? Oh my gosh. Amazing. Amen. Just to see what the Lord has done. I had gone on to college. The one that they said had a learning disability. I went, I graduated, but not only did I graduate, but I graduated with honors Praise Praise God. God. in my class. Praise God. Wow. And then, of course, in college, of course, that's where my husband found me. You know, the Bible Praise says, God. he who findeth the wife, right. findeth the good thing, thing and obtaineth favor yes. with the Lord. Amen. So I got married. And I've been married now for 19 wow. wonderful, Praise wonderful, God. wonderful Praise years. God. And two children. Oh, and the Lord has taken me from a place of not enough to more than Praise enough. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve a good God. Oh, he's wonderful. He is so good. Yes, he is. You know, there was is. one time, a long time ago, when I was praying for Anthony and my marriage mm -hmm. many years ago. And I had this whole list of things I was praying for. And like you said, it wasn't overnight. Mm -hmm. One by one, I was checking off that list. Oh yeah, that's better now. Yeah, that's awesome now. Yeah. And over time, I could look back finally and be like, God has restored every single mm. part of my marriage. And I just, I think of that with you, it's like every single part. He didn't miss yes. out on anything. No. Right? I mean, he restored everything and then gave you double. There you go. <laughs> double for your trouble. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so how is God using you now to share this message of hope and restoration? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, uh, Leanne, Anthony, the Lord has really opened many doors for me. Mm. And I go out into many different churches, you know, here in Tennessee, East Coast, West Coast. I go out and I tell people what the Lord has done for me. Gosh, and I want so them good. to know that, you know, God has no respect of persons. Amen. If he can do it for me, mm -hmm. then guess what? He can do it for you. That's Amen. so good. That Amen. That's so good. That's so good. So who, who's been a big inspiration in your life? You, you know, what? I tell you, my husband has been a mm. big He's a great man inspiration God. in my life. Amen. He loves the Lord. Mm. Loves the word of God pure-hearted and he was one of those he was on the campus and I saw how on fire he mm. was for Jesus Amen. and I knew I wanted that right I'd hear him talk about the word he's memorizing scripture after scripture and I'm thinking oh my gosh how do you do that yeah yeah so he has really inspired me and he encourages me so mm. much and he encourages me to encourage oh, other so people with my story. Right. That's good. Yeah. That's yeah. so good. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the end of this round. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Renee Holloway. month for a donation of $20 or more, you may opt to receive our special gift to you, Ring of Faith's Knockout Sickness Package. This CD includes our KO Sickness Teaching Series, plus a special rap CD quoting healing scriptures. You will be ministered to, learn your weapons, have fun in your training, and most importantly, be equipped with the tools to knock out sickness in your life once and for all. Claim your victory in your health and request this package today. Welcome back to the Ring of Faith. Today we have a very special guest on the show, and I've been so blessed to hear her story, Renee Holloway. It's been so great having Wonderful you here. Wonderful to be here. Thank Renee, you. if you could share with our viewers, you know, one revelation that has truly changed your life, what would it be? Ah, you know what? During the time uh, when I was going through um, everything that I went through, mm -hmm. uh, the hard time that I went through, you know, the Word of God, I needed it. I needed every part mm -hmm. of the Word mm -hmm. of God. But the, the biggest thing that I saw in the Word of God is how Jesus loves me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. 
and what he thinks about me, how he feels about me, mm. who I am mm. in him, Amen. who he makes me to be. Amen. That's the revelation, God's love for me. Mm. And when you understand the love of Jesus, how much he really loves you, mm -hmm. how much he just you are the apple of his eye. Mm -hmm. I'm the apple of his eye. Amen. Amen. But when you realize how much he loves you, mm. so good. There is nothing that cannot be done. You know what the Bible says? His perfect love casts out all fear. Yes, it I mean, does. And it's that fear sometimes that things aren't going to get better. Right, right. But yeah. that perfect love, you get a hold of that and you're like, oh no, it's going to get better. Absolutely. God loves me. He has a good plan for my life. Jeremiah 29, 11 says his plans are good, yes. not for evil, to give us a hope and a future. That's right. That's well, Renee, right. our show is all about the Word of God yes. and how to win the battles with it. Yes. So tell our viewers right now what they can do with this because this is, you know, right now mm -hmm. we're seeing a book on a table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can they do with it you to know win what? the battles? To win the battles, we've got to believe. And we've got to believe that what God says, that's a done deal. Mm -hmm. And there's a scripture that I'd love to share. Yes, if absolutely. I can. Yes. And I love this scripture. This is one of the scriptures that really helped me. Oh, good. And I still stand on this scripture to this day. And it's Numbers 2319. Okay. That's and that's what we've got to do, and that's what yeah. we've got to Come believe. On, bring it on. And it says, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. It's my favorite part. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? That's so good. And so, so good. this lets us know that everything in the Word of God, all of God's promises, are yea, and we say amen. 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 <laughs> and so all so everything good. he said, he will bring it to pass. Praise amen. God. Every promise. Amen. Praise God. Even those promises that you don't you're thinking, okay, God, how are you gonna do that? We've got to believe. We have to. Jeremiah that God will bring it. Jeremiah to pass. One watches over his word to perform. To perform. It. Mark 16 20 confirms his word. The signs follow. Yeah. Isaiah 55 11, his word does not return void. But accomplish. Psalm 89 34, his covenant will, will, he will not break nor alter the word that goes out of his mouth. A little bit of word. Awesome word. <laughs> yeah. Awesome so yes. good. It's That's powerful. Awesome. Well, Renee, yeah. thank you so much for sharing your story. If somebody has been blessed by this and they want to maybe have you speak at their church mm -hmm. or maybe come speak at a small group, yes. what, how can they get a hold of you? Yes, you can contact me at uh, Holloway, H O L L O W A Y, N as in Nancy, mm -hmm. O and the numerical number three Okay. at comcast.net. Got it. And okay. we'll put that up that on the screen email. for our guests okay. as well. Fantastic. All right, now it's Fantastic. time for our... It's time for the speed round. We'll give you 60 seconds power pack with the word of God. We're not going to say it twice to get your pens and papers ready. Number 1330 says, Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. Romans 8.37, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. 1 John 5.5, 5, who is he who overcometh, overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Romans 12.21, do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Revelation 21, 7, He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Mm. 1 John 5, 4, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. And 1 John 4, 4, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Now it's time for... The Weapon of the Week! The Weapon of the Week this week is Romans 8, 37. It says, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors, through him who loved us. I encourage you to take this scripture, 
say it 10 times in the morning, 10 times at night, and all throughout the day. This is going to build your faith. Uh, Proverbs 18, 21 says, Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Mark 11, 23, that whoever says and believes will have what they say. You're speaking to those mountains that you are more than a conqueror. And as you start doing this, you're going to start believing it, and then you're going to walk it out. That's so good, Anthony. You know, Renee, you know, our show today has been about overcoming. And I know that people cannot truly overcome if they don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And we're not talking about religion here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a personal relationship. Mm -hmm. Can you tell our viewers what that is? What does it mean to have a personal relationship with Jesus? It's something that's between you and God. It's where, first of all, you realize that you need Him in your life. You have to know also how much he loves you and no matter what you have done Jesus wants you he wants you to be one of his Romans 10 9 said if you'll confess Jesus as your Lord believe in your heart God raised him from the dead then you shall be saved I'm going to pray this prayer I encourage you to say it with your mouth mean it from your heart Father God, Father God, I come to you in Jesus' name. I come to you in Jesus' name. Sin, Satan. Sin and Satan. I turn my back on you. I turn my back on you. Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I come into my heart. Come into my heart. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I ask for all your gifts. I ask for all your gifts. I believe I receive it. I believe I receive it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 12, 3 that no man can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Confess out loud, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord! If you just got born again, I encourage you to get into a full Bible teaching church. And if you're in the Nashville, Mount Juliet area, come to Joy Church, Mount Juliet. And I want to encourage you, October 4th, we're having a free yard sale at Joy Church, Mount Juliet. Uh, we're having a free yard sale, free medical clinic, uh, Free food. Can't That's go good. wrong with free food. That's so good. And if you've made a decision today to make Jesus the Lord of your life, we want to hear from you. Go to ringofaytv.com, click on contact. You'll find all the information you need to get a hold of us. And don't miss our next show. You'll get more training tips and another weapon of the week. Renew your mind to God's Word by seeing, saying, and believing His promises. And that's how you become a knockout artist in life. Your name. Oh, oh.